Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to learn that that how you can perform add to, add items to card logic in Flutter application which means that we will see that how to increment and decrement a counter variable for each and particular respective list type from a list view. Okay. Let us see what we are going to achieve in this video. So as you can see I am having a list view of list types. Okay. So if I increment a particular list item, so its value will be added and it will be shown on our total payment button. Okay. Each list item is having a price of 50. Now if I increment the product 3, so its value will be get added. Okay. And if I decrement it, so value is also decrementing from our total payment. Okay. Now if I decrement it to 0, then our Decrement icon button will be invisible because we don't want to decrement to the negative values. Okay. So I hope this video might be useful to you. So let's get started. So first go to your Popsway camel file and import the get package. Okay. So in this video for our dependency injections we will be using get x package. Okay. Now after this go to your project folder and inside your lib folder create three folders. One for controller, one for custom widget, okay, and third will be our screens, okay. So inside screens, we will be having our screens. Inside our custom widgets, we will be creating our each list item, okay. And in our controllers, we will be having our getx controllers. So after creating these three folders, first go to your main.dat file and change material app to get material app, okay. Now after this, go to your controller folder and first create a dart file named cart controller. Okay, so inside this cart controller file, we will be having a class of cart controller which is extending our getx controller. Now if you don't know how getx state management work, so I recommend you to watch my getx playlist provided in the description box. Okay, now over here, as you can see, I have declared one variable named total which I have made observable. Now observable means whatever the changes in this variable will be happening, it will be reflected on our screen immediately. Okay, it is sort of a reactive programming. Okay, so by making it observable, we are making it that we are continuously listening to this variable. Now we have provided two methods. First is word increment and in its method we are having one argument named price. So, whenever the user is clicking on the increment button of any list item, okay, so we will be calling this method and we will be passing the particular item price, okay. So, whatever the price will be, it will be added to our total variable and that total variable will be shown on our total payment button, okay. Similarly, same for the decrement, instead of adding it, just we have to decrement it. Okay, from the total. So, this was our card controller. Now, after this, go to your custom widgets folder. Create one new file name, cart item. Okay. Now, this cart item class will be a stateful widget. Now, each list style, as you can see on our list view, it is having two properties. One is title and second is price. As you can see over here, our code. So, it will be having two properties, title and price. Now, after this, we are first uh, finding our cart controller. Okay. So, to use our controller methods and variable, first we have to put it inside our file. So, this is the way to initiate your cart controller. Okay. Now, each cart item will be having its own counter variable, which we have initialized to 0. Now, inside its build method, we are returning a card which is having a list style in it. Now, inside its text, we will be passed. We will be having the text whatever the user has provided the product name or you can say the cart item name. So to access it, we will write widget.title with some text type. Now after this, we are using the trailing property of our list style which is having a size box with some width and inside its child, we, are, we have wrapped our row of widgets. Okay, now in this row, we are having our icon buttons and some text as its children. So first here as you can see, I have provided a logic that if the counter is not equals to 0, okay, which means that if the if the user has incremented the counter, okay, so then only we will show the 
डिक्रीमेंट आइकन बटन ओके आवर माइनस आइकन बटन ओके एंड इन इट्स ऑन प्रेस वी आर सेटिंग द स्टेट ऑफ आर काउंटर ओके सो इट इज अ माइनस बटन सो वी विल बी डिक्रीमेंटिंग आवर काउंटर एंड वी विल ऑल्सो कॉल द डिक्रीमेंट मेथड ऑफ आर कंट्रोलर ओके एंड इन साइड दिस डिक्रीमेंट मेथड आर्ग्यूमेंट वी विल पास आवर प्राइस ऑफ दिस पर्टिक्युलर आइटम ओके सो दिस प्राइस विल बी डिडक्टेड फ्रॉम आवर टोटल वैल्यू वेरिएबल फ्रॉम आर कंट्रोलर एज सिंपल एज दैट सो आफ्टर दिस आइकन बटन वी हैव प्रोवाइडेड सम टेक्स्ट ओके इन साइड दिस टेक्स वी विल बी शोइंग आवर काउंटर ओके वॉट एवर इट्स वैल्यू इज एंड अगेन जस्ट कॉपी पेस्ट दिस आइकन बटन एंड इन स्टेड ऑफ रिमूव जस्ट गिव इट द आइकन ऑफ एडिशन ओके एंड इन साइड इट्स ऑन प्रेस वी हैव टू इंक्रीज आवर काउंटर सो वी आर इंक्रीमेंटिंग आवर काउंटर वेरिएबल इन द सेट स्टेट मेथड एंड similarly we are calling the increment method of our controller and we are again passing the price of that particular product item okay so here we are done with our custom widget which was our cart item now after this we have to create a cart screen okay which will be a stateless widget okay now inside this cart screen we are having an app bar and inside it we are having a list view okay so before getting started with list view first we have to put our controller so to put our controller in this screen we have to write card controller its name get dot put method and pass our controller name that's all so now we'll get back to our list view we are calling the list view widget okay and inside its children property we are generating a list of five card items okay here we have provided each card item some name okay so we simply has given product and the index of that particular item so up so after providing the title for each card item we have provided a default price of 50 okay so each item of this list view will be having a price of 50 by default and each is having a name of product and their index number now after this we have created one elevated button okay now we have to access our total variable from our controller which we have made observable okay so that's why we are using the obx method obx method of state management of getx okay so instead of rebuilding the whole screen we will simply just rebuild this text only okay so whenever there is a change in our total value variable that value will be reflected immediately on our button as well so inside this obx method in in its text what we have written we have written total payment plus to access the total variable of our controller write controller name dot our variable which is total and to access its value write dot value and convert it into string so this was the logic that how to increment and decrement counter of each and respective list style item of your list view okay now in this total payment method when you click so you can even navigate to the payment interface or you can say a payment gateway that you might have integrated so you can even navigate to the razer payment interface as well so if you don't know how to integrate razer payment inside your flutter application so you can even watch my video on flutter plus razer payment gateway integration okay so inside its on click method also you can navigate to your raise a payment interface okay so that's all for today so if you find my video content useful and resourceful then please do like share and subscribe our channel and till then keep practicing and keep fluttering